to be in Michigan a and to be on the field for Ohio a and So you were born in Ohio, right? Born in Went Cincinnati, right? right? Yeah. Went so, to high school in Michigan. So you're, you're Ohio, correct? But, okay, so playing high school in Michigan and to be on a field uh, play like that, just kind of talk about, I guess, what that meant. Um, I got a lot of crap for committing to Ohio State. It's like, the people on Twitter saying, call me a traitor. He even got, like, some threats. And I was like, okay, you know, it's kind of crazy. Like, a high school kid and made a decision. So, but, do you feel like that, the, that game, double or time game, maybe the first game will run it? And so was that kind of your welcome to the rivalry moment? Or when, how long have you known how big this rivalry is? I've known this rivalry was big since I was a little kid. I mean, I grew up watching the games. I say, like, probably my most memorable Ohio State versus Michigan game was when the score was 46 41. That was probably my favorite game to watch for a long time. Have you had a chance to reflect on, is it, it's been such a whirlwind for you. You came in, it's so rare for a true freshman to start, especially on the offensive line. And we've talked to you a lot. Orlando Pace was the last one to do it here. Have you had time to reflect on what a whirlwind this has been for you? Or are you just still focused on the task at hand? I am focused on uh, winning you know, these next two games. What's the, okay, now now reflect on, on the season you had. The regular season, just what was it like for you just going through all that and becoming a starter and just all the pressure that goes with it and the fun that goes with it too? The fun is definitely after you win, especially at home when you hear the bells ringing, you know you did your job. No matter what the score was, you did your job, you won at home, and you celebrate with the teammates. What did you feel like you did well this year? What do you still want to improve on with us, Michael? I feel like I did well um, run, run blocking wise. I feel like I need to improve my pass protection. Also, I, have, I have a lot to improve, but I can improve my run game. Fuck it, I need to improve everything. Listen, when you say you want to improve as a pass pro, is it footwork? Is it hands? What's, what's the main thing as far as improving a pass pro? I think it's everything, you know, the hands and the feet. You've got to um, move your feet and your hands at the same time. One thing I always point out about you when, I, when I'm talking about you, if somebody says you're from Michigan, like my friend here just did, you correct, I did the same thing. You correct them right away and say, no, I'm from Ohio. I think that's pretty cool. You, you, you do not like hearing that you're from Michigan. Just to explain that. I think Buckeye fans love that about you. Um, <laughs> well, just because I know how big the rivalry is, like, like, I get, like, sometimes, like, when I say I'm from Canton, Michigan, to people, they, people give me a lot of crap for it, so. I tell them that I'm not from Michigan, from so high school. Then. So did you? When did you? Were you in junior high when you moved there? How old were you when you moved? Were you in Cincinnati and you moved up to? No. Uh, all right. So here's what happened. So I was like three or four years old. I moved to Kentucky, but I still went to school in Cincinnati. Still had family in Cincinnati and cousins. Moved to South Carolina for middle school, and then I moved to Michigan for high school. Oh, I got gotcha. you. So are you uh, a Cincinnati pro sports fan? you like the Bengals or the Reds or anything? Bengals stuff the Cincinnati Bengals all the way. Nice, nice, nice. I'm a Bengals fan too. That's not fun this year, but hey, maybe next year. Um, been a lot of talk about Clemson's defensive line, Michael. Uh, what have you seen on film? Are they going to be probably the best? They face some good defense. Are they going to be the best defensive line you face this year? Or just talk about Almost those guys. Most definitely think that they're really talented and they're really athletic. I think they're big. You know, they're really good with their hands too. You know, why did a defensive lineman this year win against? They didn't have like the assets that Clemson D line had, so most of them think it's going to be a very good D line we're going against. What's it like playing for Coach Meyer? Um, playing for Coach Meyer, I think it's a, you know it's a feeling that you know like you're going to be taken care of. Because Coach Meyer cares about his players. Do you get the feeling that your last question that you're playing for like a legend? I mean, this guy he could quit right now. Well, I hope he's not right now. After the playoffs, he, he would be a college football Hall of Famer for sure. Is that something you guys even think about? Like, I'm I'm, I'm playing for like one of the greats. I most definitely think about that all the time. Um, you know, he's won two national championships for Florida, and he's also won here at Ohio State. And even that he was at Bowling Green, I think I believe he went undefeated and had a really good record in Utah. I believe. 
Yeah, yeah went undefeated at Utah. Yeah, he really made, he had an undefeated season at Utah. Really got their program going. Hey, great stuff, man. I appreciate it, man. Thanks.